Hello and welcome to a video on a very interesting theory of intelligence called the theory of multiple intelligences. I am Dr. Sunanda Roy. Join me in discovering the different intelligences. In 1983, Dr. Howard Gardner for the first time introduced the theory of multiple intelligences in his book titled Frames of the Mind, The Theory of Multiple Intelligences. This was a very novel way of looking at intelligence as until then it was accepted that there is only one single intelligence which is measured by IQ or the intelligent quotient. Gartner put forth that there are nine components of intelligences that are distinctive, independent and differ in capacities within an individual. What's interesting is that these can be developed by teachers using various classroom activities. So let's learn about these nine components and ways to develop them. The first one is spatial intelligence. These individuals think or learn in terms of pictures and are also known as picture smart. Professionals like architects, mechanics, sculptures, Pilots show high spatial intelligence. So spatial intelligence enables visualizing and learning through images, shapes, patterns, designs and textures. Students with dominant spatial intelligence learn better using mind maps and concept maps. Teachers can encourage the development of spatial intelligence by giving students activities that involve preparing diagrams, making computer presentations or videos. The second one is bodily kinesthetic intelligence. This intelligence is also known as body smart. It gives the ability to one's whole body or parts of the body to solve problems or create things. Dancers, surgeons, athletes demonstrate high degree of bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Giving hands-on experience, making students use dramatization, encouraging them to participate in different sports activities help in developing this intelligence. The next one is musical intelligence, also known as music smart. As its name suggests, this intelligence deals with the ability related to the field of music. In it enables one to show sensitivity to rhythm, pitch, meter, tone, melody and so on. This intelligence is widely seen among singers, musicians and composers. Activities giving the opportunity to students for singing, playing instruments, composing rhymes and songs help develop this intelligence. Linguistic intelligence is the next component, also known as word smart. Individuals showing high linguistic intelligence is very good at reading, speaking and writing. They are sensitive to meaning of words, order and sound of words, rhythms, etc. So they learn very effectively through hearing and seeing words. So you have writers, lyricists, lawyers, lecturers who have a lot of linguistic intelligence. Students can be encouraged to use this intelligence by asking them to compose poems or writing slogans and other creative writing activities. The next component is logical mathematical intelligence or number smart. Professionals like mathematicians, philosophers, physicists exhibit this type of intelligence in abundance. They are very good with numbers and are experts at deductive, inductive reasoning, doing calculations, solving puzzles, using logic and so on. Classroom activities involving solving different types of puzzles, experimenting with numbers and symbols, preparing and creating graphs or charts help develop logical mathematical intelligence among students. 
the ability to effectively interact with others is the next component known as interpersonal intelligence or people smart this enables one to be sensitive towards others moods feelings temperaments and motivations they work well in groups and show empathy for others while coming up with collective ideas engaging students in cooperative learning activities group activities or study groups help to develop interpersonal intelligence it is also known as social intelligence which is required for all types of professions intrapersonal intelligence or self smart helps one to know oneself knowing one's own feelings goals anxieties planning according to one's strengths and limitations are included in this intelligence we should all try to develop intrapersonal intelligence as it helps us to understand and reach our goals in life according to our traits students can be made to do swot and analysis that is identifying one's own strength weakness opportunities and threats teachers can also give opportunities for independent study and use computer assisted instructions that will give students time to work by themselves and understand their own potentials naturalistic intelligence also known as nature smart are nature lovers they feel very comfortable in nature and have a lot of knowledge about nature including surviving in nature this type of people have a profound love for animals outdoors plants and almost any natural object naturalists biologists geologists adventurers who make documentaries on wild animals exhibit naturalistic intelligence encouraging students to collect objects from nature reading outside taking them on nature hikes and field trips will help develop naturalistic intelligence gartner added existential intelligence after an additional 2 decades of research since he had introduced the multiple intelligences existential intelligence is also known as reflective smart this intelligence encompasses the ability to pose and ponder over questions regarding the existence including life and death this intelligence is dominant in philosophers and religious leaders activities like journal writing volunteering in community services or as simple as asking questions could help students enhance existential intelligence so this is the theory of multiple intelligences by dr harvard gardner who's also known as the father of mi or multiple intelligences variations in these intelligences is a big factor causing individual differences among us each one of us are unique and as teachers we must realize that our job is not to bring all our students to a same level but to bring about optimal development in each of our students so comparison should not be done between students but between the past performance and present performance of the same student unfortunately this does not take place However, as teachers, we can try and do this during the classroom activities. These are the references used to prepare the content of this video. The first reference is Howard Gardner's official site where you can get a lot of authentic information about multiple intelligences. The second reference is a very useful one for teachers where you will find numerous classroom activities catering to enhance each component of MI. The links have been given in the description box. Also, check out my video on another theory of intelligence based on emotional intelligence. You will find the link in the description box and on the screen too. Hope you find this video useful. If you do please like share and consider subscribing to my channel 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.